Hi, I'm Rowan with Rowan's Dog Training. I offer training and care services in the Columbus, Ohio area, and my home is located in Reynoldsburg, where I do my daycare and boarding services. So today I would like to talk to you about uh, dog body language and interpreting what your dog is trying to tell you. So as a trainer, it is my goal to help you find harmony with your dog. I want you to be the best dog mom and dog dad out there, which means there's a lot for you to learn and a lot you need to know. So today we're going to talk about body language and some common sim signals that people often don't recognize uh, that are help really helpful in helping your dog to be happy and avoid confrontation and keep everybody safe. So this is one of the articles in my education series. So if you like what you hear today and you would like more information, uh, send me your email and I will send you this article um, titled, What is your dog telling you? So let's get started. <clears throat> so your dog is constantly talking to you, just like you're constantly talking to your dog, but you don't speak dog and they don't speak English. So we need to get everybody on the same page. So I'm going to teach you some common dog body language. So generally what you want to see is that your dog is happy, which means relaxed, which is squinty eyes, open mouth, loose body language, tail is a natural height, not too high, not too low. Dogs that are up and forward, ears up, leaning forward, tail up, are generally excited. Um, or interested in what's happening, and dogs that are down and back, ears back, tail down, sort of back end tucked, um, they're more scared, uh, timid, uneasy. So there's your general picture. You do want to make sure you're looking at eyes, mouth, ears, tail, general body position, and what their movement is like. So my favorite uh, signals to educate people about are ones that I think are very often missed. Uh, the first one is lip licking or nose licking. So if you notice that your dog is quickly flipping their tongue out of their mouth, smacking their nose, that's a sign that they're uncomfortable. Uh, who would have thought? So whenever you see this sign, uh, it's a good opportunity for you to help your dog to feel better by stopping or changing whatever is happening around them so that they can get to a point where they aren't scared anymore or uneasy might be a better word. So this might be a stranger is touching your dog or a kid is a little bit too close to them and you'll see that uh, nose lick. Uh, that's the, a good point to, you know, give them a little more space or stop the interaction because they're uncomfortable and a dog that's uncomfortable can very easily move to um, angry, upset, and then it turns from nose licking to growling, nipping, moving away, that sort of thing. The next one I like to talk about is yawning. This is another, si this is another signal that your dog is uneasy. <clears throat> so whenever you see your dog yawn, uh, look at what's happening in the situation and ask yourself, is he actually tired or is something odd happening? Uh, is somebody with a hat coming too close? Is there a dog nearby that's making him uneasy? Uh, there are lots of different things that can cause the yawn, but it's probably spatial, situational. There's something weird going on or unnormal, unusual that he's reacting to. Uh, another more obvious one is moving away. So if your dog moves away from a bike or a person or another dog, that means they don't want to be near that thing. Uh, very simple. So don't let people chase your dog around, especially kids. If your dog gets up and moves away from your kid, don't let your kid follow him around. You know, tell him that that means that Rover doesn't want to be petted right now and you need to give him some space. Um, others are licking a foot or lifting a foot. So if your dog is maybe greeted by another dog at the park and you see one of their front feet come up off the ground, that's a clear sign that I don't want any trouble, please don't hurt me. Uh, it's a little bit of submissive body language. Uh, you might also notice they do that to uh, your male friends or boyfriends. Normally men are a little scarier than women, but if they lift that foot, that's a sign like, oh, I'm sorry, don't hurt me, I'm, I'm not scary. <laughs> On my last 
thing I want to talk about is licking or chewing your joints. So it's a sign that your dog might have arthritis or joint pain if you notice them chewing or licking on their, um, normally it's their ankles or wrists, whatever you want to call them. So it might be time to ask the vet um, or add a supplement if you notice your dog constantly licking at their joints. So that's all I have time to talk about today. I hope you found this educational. If you have any questions, I'd love to talk to you about dog body language. I know a lot more than I was able to fit in this video. So if you would like this article, please send me your email and I will send it to you and you'll have all this great information in print for you to look back on. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name's Rowan, again with Rowan's Dog Training in Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Thanks.